How would you describe true consent on a website? I think true consent would be private conversations beforehand. Um, yes, no list that are filled so private out. conversations between just the performers that the director is not party to. No, or? the director and a um, PA should be there. Okay, but the other talent shouldn't be there. No one else should be there. Got you. Okay, so when you say private conversations, you mean you actually mean without the talent? Yeah, I gotcha. think that the producer and whoever that star's assistant is of the day, because mm-hmm. that's going to be the person to vindicate for them and to say, hey, we're going, we need to take a break or something if they see something happening. Right. If the performer isn't able to speak up when it's happening, because sometimes right. that happens. So I would think that it should be like producer, PA, and the star in a room privately with a yes, no list, go over the things that they're okay with, what they're not okay with, then with the other performer or performers. Mm-hmm. Then a group conversation mm-hmm. where they all sit there and they don't have to read off the list. They don't have to say, oh, this person doesn't want that. It's just in this set, we're not going to do any this, this, and this, and this, combined all the no's, and all this is okay. Mm-hmm. And just make it to where it's a collectively spoken on. That way nobody feels like they're being judged. Nobody feels like they have to, you know, be extreme, you know, or they might feel guilted and saying, oh, actually, I might be okay with that when they're not, you know, and then having that conversation between the PAs, knowing, like, we're going to stick by what our people say. And if the producer starts to forget or if the performers start to forget, we're going to stop in, cut, like, you know, Mm -hmm. and talk about it again and then start 